Hi, Debbie Chu here from Chew on Vegan and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm going to be making zucchini pancakes. It is summer and zucchinis are everywhere. So if you have a bunch of zucchinis, this is a great way to use it up. So let's get started. We're going to start with our dry ingredients. I have about a cup and a quarter of oat flour and I just put some gluten-free oats into my Nutribullet and ground them up to make flour. I've got some baking um, powder here and some, a little bit of salt and a little bit of cinnamon. So I'm just going to mix that together. All right. Then I grated up one zucchini and what I did, see if you can see that, I um, grated it up. I let it sit for about 30 minutes and let the water come out of it and then I squeezed it and then I put it in a dish towel and then I squeeze the rest of the moisture out that way. So we're, it's about a cup of zucchini. So I'm gonna put that into my dry right here. And we're gonna mix this together. If you wanna use more zucchini, that's totally up to you. Depending on how zucchini-y you want your pancakes. Next, we're gonna add our wet ingredients. I have a teaspoon of vanilla. I have a tablespoon of maple syrup, and I have one flax egg, which is one tablespoon of ground flax seed and three tablespoons of water. I let it sit for about five minutes so it gets thick. Add that in. And then I have some soy milk, um, and I've got about a cup and a quarter. I don't know if I'll use that or maybe I'll use more. Um, so I'm just gonna add, you know, about half this just to see my consistency. And then you just do it to your liking. If you like a thicker pancake or a, you know, a thinner pancake, totally up to you. And as always, I'll have all these measurements in the description box. Do a little bit more. So let's go over to the stove and get these cooking. Okay, looks like the pan is hot enough. I'm gonna use a quarter cup, little measuring cup here. And they're not gonna be huge pancakes. I'm not using any oil in the pan, so they might not get as brown and crispy as you would like. You're free to add some oil to your pan if you would like, or a little vegan butter. I just like to use a, a dry pan. I don't like the added fat and calories. So we're gonna let these cook. When they start getting a little bubbly and a little, um, you know, dry around the edges, we will flip them. Okay, got one flipped. We'll do the other one. And these look beautiful. Then we'll just cook them a couple minutes on each side. And I'm just gonna finish up the rest of my batter and then we will be ready to taste. Before I taste, I just want you to see this beautiful plate. Oh my gosh. I don't know if you can still see the steam. The steam is coming up from them. So let's put a little banana. And I like to dip my pancakes in maple syrup instead of pouring it all over. You can pour it all over if you like. I'm just gonna do one. Mm. Just wanna show you, you can see I'm dripping, but that's okay. The zucchini, oh, yummy. Mm. These are so good. They are perfect. The consistency, the amount of zucchini, a little bit sweet, amazing. Give this one a try. It's good for you, it's good for the animals, and it's good for the planet. And remember, what you put on your plate determines your fate. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and share it with your friends. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. And make sure you hit that notification bell and so you are notified every time I upload a video. And let me know down in the comments what you like to do with all your zucchini. Until next time, thank you.